so this is one of my favorite uh, comments. Fat is like a stray dog. This is from the book Fat Loss Happens on a Monday by Josh Hillis and Dan John. Absolutely fantastic. And what Josh says is fat is like a stray dog. If you keep feeding it, it's not going anywhere. And I think that's a really good kind of image to have in your brain. As long as you keep feeding that fat, it's going to hang around. Um, it's happy as you like. So that's just something to think about in your journey if you are trying to you know lose weight if you if you keep feeding your body the wrong stuff the wrong quality or the wrong quantity then you're not going to either um, change your body composition or um, your body weight basically um, so you have to think about what your goals are and take responsibility now I'm not talking about nutrition a particular nutritional thing this morning because um, it's only a quick broadcast but what I would say to you is you know think about that and take responsibility for what you're eating I know it's tough at this time of year it's Christmas um, there's parties there's yellow food pastry lard galore wherever you look um, but don't think of it as you know good or bad or that you are a good or bad person if you eat this or don't eat this just think about what your goals are and if your goal is just to kind of maintain where you are over the Christmas period then eat according to that move according to that if you eat too much then do a bit more exercise get out for a walk you know just try and moderate your behavior over Christmas but I'm not saying not have a good time because it's so difficult um, to maintain any kind of diet um, and I hate the word diet, but you know what I mean, over the over the Christmas period. So eat sensibly, think about what it is you're putting inside your body, uh, take responsibility. And if you are on a weight loss journey, then journal it. Journal, journal, journal is one of the most simple and biggest reasons people see success when they're on a weight loss journey is writing stuff down. Look back at what you've written, make a plan of what you're going to eat, and then look at the end of the day, write down what you did eat. Simple things, you know, this is actually in some ways more important than what you are actually eating because when you write this stuff down, um, you can you can see where there are trends, you can see what's going on and it smacks you in the face when it says, you know, uh, 10 digestives instead of, you know, one or two, 10 rinse pies instead of one or two. You know, it really is a bit of a slap in the face sometimes. So, you know, think about that, you know, don't don't feed the fat if you if you want it to go away. But obviously, um, there's a huge amount more to this than that than that. But it's a good little mental picture for you. Take responsibility for what you're eating, make a plan, keep a journal and keep moving forward. Um, and if that all sounds like too much, you're just going to write off December. That's fine, too. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's a decision you make. And then um, if you want to get back on track with it in January, then. <laughs> Give me a call and get stuck into um, another 10-week frazzle to fabulous with me, which um, which will really be kicking off in the new year. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day. Delete.